The spring in his step is still there. The fluorescent tutu is back on, so too is the challenge. It's a blooming long way, so however I get there, um, however long it takes, I'm going to get there. So Mind you, the optimism be. never faltered, even after a drunk driver put him in hospital yeah. as he and his team travelled um, through Somerset yeah, then... ten months ago. Now, it was a trip to Burma that inspired his epic dance effort. He's already raised more than £30,000 for charities there. He isn't a professional dancer, but the man who shimmied, twisted and rocked all the way from Scotland, through most of England and into the West Country, already covering a thousand miles, wasn't going to let a, a little crash put him off. It's just that he's decided to avoid traffic on the last leg of his journey to the tip of Cornwall, choosing the rather picturesque and somewhat safer southwest coastal path. <laughs> Here he comes. What a sight. Let's, yeah. let's be honest, you don't see that very often on the coastal path, do you? <laughs> Dare I say, over the style with style. Nice <laughs> Hello, to see you. Mike Clinton. Do you mind if we keep going? No. Do you mind if I don't dance? No, no problem at all. <laughs> well, I know about the accident and you had to break for a while. Are you fully recovered? Um, pretty much. I still have uh, tinnitus ringing in my ears uh, most of the time. But apart from that, clean bill of health, the head's recovered, and now it's all guns blazing to get me to Land's End. That must have been a terrible time for you, then. Um, it was really tough, and, you know, so many people had supported me on the way. We've raised £36,000 so far. I danced a 1,000 miles. I almost had Land's End in sight when... Unfortunately, I was run over by the drunk driver. Well, i better let you crack on. Thank you very much. Come on, dance with me to the, a little bit further. Really? Yeah, come on, okay. let's go. How about this? Bring me sunshine, Sun bring me rain, bring me laughter. <laughs>